What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be talking about the newest card that just got announced for the new Japanese set, Dream League, which is going to be the next expansion. And uh, this thing is absolutely insane uh, for a meta that could be defined around or revolve around tag teams. This thing just knocks them all out and is not even a GX card. Uh, I've never thought too highly of this Pokemon, but I feel like the Zatu is going to be an absolute game changer. There's, there's a lot of game changers in this set, and I feel like Zatu, you know, I feel like this one is absolutely insane. Let's talk about the specifics. So, looking at the card, uh, sure, it looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I feel like Zatu always kind of was, looked a little strange, so, you know, this art, this art's not bad, though. But uh, let's get into the real important stuff. So, for the first attack, Ominous Wind, your opponent's Pokemon is now confused. Forget about that, that's not relevant. <laughs> All we care about is the uh, second attack, which is Life Drain. Flip a coin, if heads, put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. That thing is absolutely insane. And we're going to be kind of focusing uh, for primarily on tag teams and how much this can just wreck them. So, all right, we can we have the ability for 50% of the time to limit bring any Pokemon down to 10%, and let's say it's a tag team. All right, what are we going to do then? Well, we also have a pretty cool card that came out recently called Trine of Punishment. Between turns, put one damage counter on each Pokemon GX and EX. Okay, so what does that mean? Put these things two together. You flip heads, your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out. Nothing they can do about it. This thing is absolutely insane. Um, you know, even if they play Max Potion, like if you have this combo online and you get heads, they don't have time to heal. Uh, so these just two card combo, instant knockout for any tag team, absolutely insane. And so I do think, you know, it is going to be viable to build a deck completely around this. So we're just going to add a lot of different, uh, trainers and supporters to kind of, um, uh, I guess we do need to bring out that too. So stuff like Ultra Ball, Mysterious Treasure that I'm not gonna, I don't have the pictures for. Um, but then just to keep trying a punishment on the field and maybe some other ways to do some last damage. So one other way to kind of finish things off, but this is kind of more catered towards the tag teams is wheezing. Uh, this kind of already is kind of like a used way to kind of constantly do damage to your opponent over time but maybe Weezing can be used just to hit those knockout punches if they were to swap them out to their bench if you don't have Shrine of Punishment online or if they're simply uh, not, tag, not tag teams. All right, I think the one way that I really like is simply using Spell Tag, so tap to your Psychic Pokemon, which that too is, if they knock it out, and you can have a bunch of that too because <laughs> they're only one prize, uh, every single time you knock one out, four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. This does mean that if you don't get the attack off, essentially spell tag doesn't do anything. So order of operations is critical here, but spell tag is in a way a good guarantee, especially if your, your opponent doesn't have any way to heal to guarantee those knockouts. Let's see, also red's challenge. Um, it's just a good way to bring out whatever Pokemon you want or bring out the Shrine of Punishment. That extra, extra flexibility of red's challenge could be really useful here an adventure bag just to bring out the spell tags and stuff like that so there is was one other card announced and it is a new supporter so one potential flaw in this is well you do need to win the coin flip and that is 50 50 so you know you 50% of the time this actually doesn't do anything and especially if you're facing tag teams you're almost guaranteed to be knocked out next turn uh, so there is a new supporter called will after playing this card, the first time you need to flip a coin, basically you can uh, choose the result. And so that will basically guarantee the hit to not bring your opponent down to one. Again, as long as you have that two hit combo, whether it's with the spell tag, trying to punishment or wheezing or whatever, you know, that's game over at that point. So will, it's kind of an interesting combo. Uh, I feel like the will is not necessary just because you might need train supporters just to kind of like cycle through your deck and stuff like that, which is in my opinion, kind of like what supporters are all about. Uh, but, you know, obviously this is a good way to guarantee it. Unfortunately, that Victini that you can use to reflip coins is rotating out, so we can't rely on that, but will will probably be uh, one of the ways to guarantee that damage. And it's kind of like a... Um, 
it is a combo but you know tag teams are almost like they're they can't they can't put up any kind of defense against it and i love how it doesn't even involve a gx you know just to have a non-gx pokemon so as far as like prizes like they're gonna have to knock those out a bunch of times uh so you have plenty of time to assemble this combo because you're not running tag teams or gx's uh, so that's it for today's video. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.